Serrillon, maybe a mental spay. Veronica Yoko Plebany rounds it off. Joni Badenhorst of Australia, non-starter. Traffic says course is clear, but the uh, try doing the timing one can see somebody on the course. Now everybody's ready to go. And Megan Harmon come forward into the start gate. So Megan Harmon, who is uh, just a shade on a 40 seconds slower than Vivian Mensch, Vivian Mental Spey. There's a mistake at the top of the second run. And, uh, not what she would have wanted. She would have wanted a clean start to the second run to allow her to build up some momentum now. And will uh, probably struggle for rhythm. She's doing just that. Goofy with the left leg at the back. And she regained her composure after that initial spill. So, Harmon. And there's two seventh place finishes to her name on the World Cup. So this year, both of them uh, in big white in January. Now coming up to the possibly the most difficult section of the track, this triple roller, followed by this left bank turn, which uh, they all seem to speed check before. And Harmon takes all the speed off before this uh, final set of features. In sight of the finish, 140.07 in the first one, 155.84 in the second. So, Chuck Schultz, well, this is another one who uh, has a stack. Uh, on the top of the track. And uh, Michelle Salt. We had a time of 134.43 in, uh, in the first run. He's uh, struggling on the second. Couple of big errors. And not to put on the brakes on the heel edge. Looking to draw the rollers and then try and let the ball flow. 29 years of age. Salt just speed checks before this triple roller. And this, oh no, 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 try to put the brakes on. Coming off the top of the roller rather than waiting for the landing. In the back seat. Coming up then to the final feature. This, uh, double. Jump and uh, 149.80. Oh, 
She's in front of Harmon by 11.68 seconds. So now, Nicole Roundy of uh, USA, the next to go. And another who comes to grief after the uh, second or third feature. Fifth on the World Cup Tour this year. One podium, a third in Lamalina. But, uh, been in the top four in the last four races. Two in Big White and two in Lamalina. And now, and now, it looked like she'd got too much speed. And, uh, the first three down the second run, really struggling with the course. Having made it down in one piece without mistakes in the first one. Randy, not enjoying conditions at all here. It's a matter of survival for her. the fourth or fifth time she's hit the deck. Now, lovely for her. She's fallen on the flattest part of the track, has to go uphill for this final set of features. But, uh, this, uh, I'm sure we'll uh, put it out at the back of the field, maybe not. 3.35.91 is time so far. 1.59.54. And uh, Randy, well, despite all those errors, leads the way. Slowest of the two riders to complete the second run now. Astrid Fina Paredes, the next to go. And 17.4 on the first run. Yeah, she should better her time. I've got 123.8. At the moment, doing a better job than previously. Certainly the smoothest of all the riders. As I say that, she goes down. Just fancy the speed coming into this triple. And again, it depends on where you make the mistake. We see that errors on a steep part of the track where the rider can just get back up on the board and carry on. But if you come to grief, Flat for an uphill section, it seems a lot of time out of the clock. Anyway, 149.8 is the quickest so far on this second run. Fina Paladez sets the quiz time 141.42. She leads by 18.42 seconds. Now, Honey Joe of America, the United States. She was the 12th athlete to go in the first one. She's the sixth athlete, the fifth athlete this time round. Wow. Well, Jews has uh, had a uh, crash that's taken her off the racing line, so she'll be a DNF for the uh, second run this a point for her pressure on her for the third the two runs counting for the overall time
So, Lisa Hunschotten of the Netherlands, the next to go. 18 years of age. Wait. Logistics get out the way. Nineteen-year-old, fifth quickest after the first run. That puffs her cheeks just now down at the bottom. Okay, okay. Shot and <coughs> turn, get her challenge underway. A time of 116.31 in the first run. A little bit of waving windows and another good recovery through the opening berm. Oh, catches the toe edge and uh, gets thrown onto her face, but you see the error coming on a part of the track that has a slope, so she's quickly back into the rhythm. And uh, certainly expect her to set the fastest time of the second run. Bunschotten. Coming up to this triple, gets the speed check in. Absorbs the first two. Just travelling hot. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Travelling way too quickly. And in the back seat. Now she's got to climb back up to make the red gate. She was absolutely motoring and she just got in the back seat. And that was cause for... The crash, well, she's okay. Now, Brunschotter, despite that big fall, does set the quickest time of uh, the second run. It, uh, with all the errors that have come, the... Uh, Top four to pull away here. Christina Alba of the United States, the uh, next to leave the start hut. 25 years of age. Her uh, advantage over Bunschotten was uh, near enough six seconds on the first run. But if you factor in Bunschotten's big mistake on the uh, triple, then uh, Alba, as I say, who's uh, effectively put her out of contention with a decent run here. Now here we come to uh, this uh, tricky combination up and over this uh, turn. Now, will she fly them or absorb them? One, two, three. Oh, heel edge on the toe edge. Flip back. Now, Every single athlete that has taken on this second run has really struggled. And what it means now, if you're Amy Purdy or Cecile Hernandez Sevillon or Bibia Mental Spate, you're the top three. You just need to get down without making any errors and you have yourself a medal because the others are going to have to fly on the third run to get amongst them. So, Christina Albert stops the clock 1.30.75. She'll lead by 14 and a half seconds. But uh, the three at the top now know, need, now know what they need to do. Amy Purdy, 34 years of age from the USA. A clean run here. And she's pretty much a shoe in for a medal. She was uh, a couple of seconds quicker than Christina Albert on the first run. And she can go clean and add a similar time 
for the one she just did. She's going to get another 22 seconds on her teammate. But there's no way in the world that Albert will probably be able to make that up. Although she will know the time she needs to, to ride. It will be about 1.05, depending on how Purdy goes here. Now, well, no mistakes just yet. She's letting it ride here. Final feature, uh, 106.88. The leader, 25 seconds. And uh, Christina Albert knows she needs to ride very, very quickly on her third and final run. So this is Cecile Hernandez Sevillon of France, 39 years of age, second quickest in the first run. Whoa! That's out of shape on the roller, but uh, gets it back together. And, uh, the French rider, fourth and fifth in Lamelina, coming into these days. Going nicely on this second run. Now, Hernandez Sevillon, little speed check before this. Uh, oh, again, did she do that in the first run? Just get a little uh, leg back, but she's uh, stayed upright. And Hernandez Sevillon sets a time of 104.56, slightly slower than the first, but she leads the way. Uh, Bibian Mental Spey, who uh, rode what, just over a minute on the first run, a massive lead over the rest of the field. Just has to stand up right, you feel, to uh, do enough to claim. The gold medal, because even with one run to come, it would uh, take a sub one minute run to uh, knock Mental Spey off the top step of the podium. And uh, no one apart from Mental Spey has looked like they're uh, up to it. The 41 year old, the oldest rider in the field. Most experienced, well, she's uh, leading from the front and looks quicker as well, doesn't she? She looks a lot quicker. Can she go sub one minute? Lovely riding from Mentel Spey. Oh, beautiful stuff. It is sub minute. That's the gold medal winning run for me. 159.07, her combined time. That means that uh, Anandez Sevillot would... Uh, need to ride the second run in uh, 55 seconds in order to take the top spot. And, uh, for me, that isn't going to happen. So, Veronica Yoko Plebani out of the start hut. And then fate will know before she takes her third run whether or not she's got the gold medal. Now, 154.06 for Plebeni on the first run. Um, a chance for her to uh, try and move up if she can lay down a quick run, 18 years of age. Along with Lisa Bunshotten of the Netherlands, the youngest riders in the field. Goofy, at the back. Opts him to ride with her goggles on her helmet. Toughest part 
Oh, but the track. Over. This uh, bank left turn. Ray's bank left turn. Hard to describe, really. Inside of the finish now. She was 154.06 in the first run. Can she get inside that time? It's going to be fairly close. But she should do it. Yeah, she's in by uh, just uh, well, one, one second or so. And, uh, well, she's ninth place now, so she will be into the top ten in the third run. So the standings after run two. Bibian Mental Spey has an enormous advantage over Cecil Hernandez Sevillon with uh, Amy Purdy in third. Christina Albert fourth. Don't pay too much attention to those times on the right-hand side because a lot of the riders in that second run with errors and it's the fastest two or three runs that count towards the medals. But uh, Ananda Sevignon and Mentel Spey have had two decent runs, as has Amy Purdy, in fact. So they are the ballpark figure of where the other athletes need to be.